In the last episode of Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we explored the multiple uses of the Sneaky Goblin and the value Super Troops brings to your clan. Today, after four days of being on Town Hall 11, we are experiencing loot overflow that could have been waste if I didn't plan my upgrades wisely. So today was supposed to be Grand Warden. We were going to explore the Grand Warden and what does it do and how does it work. We're going to have to save that one for the next episode because we have a problem on my base right now. We have a serious issue with loot overflow and I need to make sure that you guys are aware of this situation because remember when the Town Hall upgrades you got all these amazing boosts and it could be a conflict if you have too many upgrades that are lengthy upgrades going on at the same time. What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 4 of the Town Hall 11 free to play series. Now we are exactly four and a half days into our new Town Hall level. And remember when we upgraded our Town Hall from Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 11, we started that boost or the improved Town Hall upgrade experience. Now with that amazing addition into the game, you guys know by now that we have those resource collectors boosted as well as the four times star bonus. And what happens is, is we have a massive influx of resources onto the base and we have a lot of lengthy upgrades. And this is why I did not build my Eagle Artillery in the beginning, I didn't rush and drop it because it is also like a seven day upgrade. And so I have two upgrades that are currently going in the clan castle and the army camp that are both about five days out. So I had to make sure that I paid attention to where I dropped my builders in the beginning. And I'm trying to catch those new defenses up as well as trying to get my elixir storages and my gold storages caught up. Now you're going to notice that I am full on gold right now. And I also have a treasury that is full at the moment. And then I also have a star bonus that's about to complete. And then when we get into clan war leagues, I have a war win bonus that's about to pay out as well so i really have to pay attention to make sure that i'm not losing out on some of these precious resources and i would love to put the eagle artillery down right now but then again at the same time i need to think about when are things going to be finishing up and planning these upgrades so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to spend some gold on a piece of wall and try to clear out my treasury probably two pieces of wall and clear out the treasury that way i can do another raid and that way i can fill my treasury back up again so we've got gotten rid of a bulk of the gold that was sitting there and now I need to empty my treasury now thankfully the poison spell from the other day has completed and I do have the barbarian down now so the barbarian has been put in the laboratory for upgrade to level eight like we discussed in like episode two but then again we have a long period of time that we have to wait there about seven days and seven hours so we got a ways to go and we're gonna have to think about how we're gonna get rid of our elixir and this is where wall growth is gonna end up happening we're not gonna really focus on upgrading walls all we have to really do is pay attention to when we have loot about to fill up again and then dump it into our walls when we have nothing to spend it on that way we are not wasting our loot but we're also making sure that we don't have builders down for lengthy periods of time and having loot sitting there just overflowing for no reason at all so let's go ahead and knock out a raid and finish up that four times star bonus because we really do not want to miss out on trying to fill up our treasury as quickly as possible even though we're in clan war and this base is actually kind of nice because the eagles placed out on the edge so we should be able to get it very early in the raid. And we're using the Queen Walk Baby Dragons. I just kept this army trained because I've been using it in my Clan War League's attacks. It's very good for taking down high level mismatched attacks. A lot of the players in this clan are using it. They've been very effective with it. We're going to go ahead and drop a rage on that queen since she's got to deal with the Barbarian King at the same time. Dealing with him first and then eliminating that uh, eagle. And let's go ahead and do this. Let's open up the compartment for her to send her inside the compartment. And we also have to worry about a double group of single target Inferno Tower. So let's go ahead and place a king over there and a baby dragon to help out a little bit. And we might just want to go ahead and send in the battle blimp. Where's the air sweepers? I don't see the air sweepers. But let's just go ahead and help her out by doing a little bit of damage here and tying up the beams from these. Let's go ahead and freeze this group right there. And we found a tornado trap, which I think is going to stop it from making it to its des destination. King's ability needs to be used. And let's go ahead and drop the Grand Warden there since we do not have any miners in this attack. So it looks like the Yeti's caught up on a wall over there, kind of drawing the fire for this Archer Queen. So let's go ahead and drop Baby Dragon there and there since she just took out the air defenses over there. And we need to send a few balloons in as a matter of fact as well. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop a Rage Spell and let's release some Wall Breakers to try to open up some deeper compartments for this Queen and get her to the other side of the base. Maybe, oh, found a giant bomb. Uh, how many Wall Breakers are remaining? Almost, almost <laughs> so close. 
so close. All right, so let's go ahead and drop balloon there, balloon there, and drop some baby dragons to help out a little bit. Rage up this queen again. And it uh, looks like we have a little bit of stuff going on on this side of the base and no more wall breakers. Hmm, let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's drop a balloon there and a few baby dragons to help out right there and there and there. And the queen, she's cracked through another compartment. Let's go ahead and freeze this group right there to stop the air defense, give the baby dragon some time to work. We're gonna need to freeze that air sweeper again and give that baby dragon a little bit more time of life. Queen is good to go, actually. We didn't even need the Grand Warden's ability in this attack. So we should be able to hold on to these final spells. Don't need to use them. Let's use that ability to get her through that wall compartment. And we're going to be able to three-star this base very easily. But then again, this was a very weak base, so to speak. But outstanding. We get, get to get a nice three-star there with a large chunk of loot. And let's get back into our material on upgrades. Another issue that I've run into over the last couple of days is filling up my storage is really fast. Remember, we have those boosted resource collectors, so we have all that passive income. Plus, when I raid, if I hit massive raids, I'll fill up those storages really fast and they cap out at 9 million. This is why I prioritize my upgrades on those resource collectors very early in Town Hall 11. That way we can try to get them caught up. But I also need to make sure that I'm referencing what builders are available and what is currently upgrading. We have a clan cap castle still going for five days and an army camp going for five days and this is unfortunate and not necessarily the best thing because both of these builders are going to finish at literally the same time about a few hours from each other so i have to really kind of jump through myself to get the loot to fill it back up to put down another builder right away and we also have to think about the queen upgrades those are going to be about seven days long it's just ridiculous and we also have to think about the grand warden we want to upgrade him a lot as well so we have two builders available and I should be able to put down a three day upgrade in between this cannon and this clan castle. So we can go ahead and drop an elixir storage right now for 1.5 and upgrade it to level 12, which will leave me with exactly two. And I still have to do the gold storages as well. So that's gonna leave us with exactly one builder remaining. And it looks like I have one builder that's gonna be available in about six hours. So I'm gonna have to use that builder on either the cannon again or the new archer tower to try to get it caught up a little bit and I also need to plan around that Grand Warden because I think I got like one more war that I need to worry about in the Clan War Leagues and I should be finished but we also will be running out of this boost very soon. Remember it's a temporary boost so we're getting a little spoiled at the moment with this level 7 Grand Warden and then once the boost is complete in exactly where is it at uh, 21 hours he will drop back down to level 2 and under level 5 he's completely useless so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put down a barracks for exactly eight days it's only four million we're going to unlock the electro dragon and we have eight days that's going to put it after the army camps as well as after that clan castle so we're not stacking all of our upgrades at the same time remember i'm spacing them out so we want to get all of our army camps done but we also don't want to have multiple army camps at the same time for 10 days a piece that's just way too long to wait on a builder and so this way you can really kind of diversify your upgrades still targeting that early upgrade priority listing in your offense but you're also not waiting for lengthy periods of time so even though i have seven million worth of gold sitting there once that cannon's finished i could possibly dump some of that gold into a wall or something and still put down another upgrade after that all right so let's go ahead and finish up this video with one final raid this is a clan war league strike from one of my clan mates who happens to be a higher level town hall 11 and he's going to face off against a new ish town hall 12. now obviously we have the new inferno tower and we also have the stage five giga tesla as well as a level three eagle artillery now we're going to break away from the previous conversation talking about loot and upgrade priority listings because realistically it's just a matter of personal preference on what you choose i just wanted to make you aware of the new stuff with those boosts and all that loot stockpiling you got to really try to get rid of it as efficiently as possible but again it's really up to however you choose to play so we're going to start up here in the top side of the base. We have an army that I want to be using here in the upcoming weeks with the miners and the hog riders. And you're also going to get a little bit of an insight on the Grand Warden in this replay on how it's used. It doesn't always have to go with the Queen Walk. It's not. It's normally not necessarily a preferred method to send it with the Queen Walk. Normally you want to send it with the miners anyways. And we'll talk about that more in the next episode. So this Queen is going to work up here in the top side of the base. We got the healers with her. We had a scout balloon looking for seeking air mines. And the target with this 
this queen charge is to get her into the center of this base to eliminate the eagle artillery get rid of these inferno towers as well as the town hall so very patient negotiation by our attacker today i mean phenomenal work that's why i got to show it for you now we also had a few hog riders come up from the bottom side of the base to pull the clan castle troops which happen to be double dragons and they are going to get focused in on the barbarian king instead of the archer queen so we're going to have a few wizards drop with that king to help out a little bit to try to eliminate those dragons while the king is working his way down through these buildings queen has taken on a jump spell and she's worked her way into an air defense and she's also going to work her way into a hidden tesla finding a couple of seeking air mines so she loses some healers along the way now we got some wall breakers coming in to start opening up some compartments the king was unsuccessful with getting rid of the archer queen but the queen will clean up the dragon and get rid of that queen in the process now there's going to be a little bit of a mistake here with a heal spell but he's going to rebound regardless we got the siege barracks on the far right right side clearing out buildings and basically funneling for our miners in preparation for their drop but we also have this heal spell i don't think that was supposed to be dropped i'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a rage spell instead but it's not that big of a deal again he's able to rebound no problem so we got the free spell drop earlier that was allowing the queen some time another rage spell place and getting this queen into this area where the town hall is this is going to take a ton of pressure off of the miners so we got the miners and the hogs working their way into the base and you're also going to notice that the grand warden is going to flank in on the miners and the hog riders so the, the warden is basically helping the miners out in two different ways with his aura as well as his eternal tome of ability which is going to be used here momentarily Early. so he's following this group of miners while they negotiate all these defenses as well as a rage spell in the placement of the heal spell i'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a heal spell later on but again not that big of a deal to where it really hurt the miners because the grand warden's ability was used to carry them through the giant bomb placement and get them into these final defenses while you still have a large pack of uh, of wizards and miners working across the bottom side of the base and it looks like all the hogs are gone but we still have plenty of troops to get the job done so i will speed this one up that way you can see the army for yourself but this was phenomenal negotiation regardless of mistakes that's what i want you to really take away from this replay is that even though you mess up don't freak out you can always negotiate through it and bh did a phenomenal job of that so hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and pick up all that loot and how you could possibly spend it and if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you want to see the town hall 11 free to play series or the town hall 10 free to play series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care